Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to use handles inside Premiere Pro. Without further ado, let's get started. So we are inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm currently uh, still using the editing workspace at the top. All right, so that we have these, you know, timeline, a long timeline that we can uh, do our editing. All right, so, um, all right, I have here two videos or two clips in our timeline uh, for this example. All right, so you have this uh, clip one and we have this clip two. So the falls and the river clip. All right, so um, all right, before we start, I just want to uh, I just want to inform you that this clip is untouched, meaning I did not cut it. All right, I did not cut it or I did not trim it. I did not apply any edit of uh, any edit. So this is the uh, the whole video without any cut or any edit. All right. So if I'm gonna drag this to the left, all right, I'm not giving. Uh, it's not giving any any more footage because this is the uh, very beginning of the footage. All right. And if I'm gonna drag it to the right, it's not giving anything. All right, because this is the last footage. All right. Also with this one. So if I'm gonna drag it to the left, all right, and I'm gonna drag it to this right, it's not giving me anything because this is the complete and the whole clip. All right. Now there's an indication as you will notice. And there will be a triangle at the end all right so let's try to zoom in all right you will see this all right did you see that all right now do you see this little triangle all right little triangle at the corner of the clip at the end of the clip that means this is there's no other there's no other um uh, there's no other thing here, all right? Uh, there's no other footage after that. That's why it gives you the triangle. Now, if I'm gonna shrink this or cut this, or let's say like that, you will see the triangle at the edges of the square is gone, all right? There's no triangle now, as you can see, all right? So the triangle here, all right, there's no triangle on the on the right corner of the box, all right? But if you're gonna drag it to the right, you will see the triangle pops up again, all right? Meaning that is the end of our clip. All right, now what is handles, all right? So it's actually handles is, uh, all right. So I'm gonna show you what is handles. Let's go here, double click this clip, and then it will open our source monitor, all right? Let's try to put some in point, all right? And let's try to put some out point. All right. Now, what is handle? The handle is this part. All right. This part is the handle that you can use for transition. All right. This one is the handle too. All right. This empty uh, footage is our handle. So there's a head material. All right. And there's a tail material. So basically, that is the handles. All right. So uh, what? Why we do? Why do we need to understand what are the handles? Because this is important if you are trying to apply transition. All right. So I'm going to show you how. But before that, so since we already know what is this, it is uh, since we already know the handles or this part is the handles. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, drag this uh, second clip. I'm going to make, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to cut this too. All right. So that we have so that we can have some handles in the beginning of this clip. All right. So basically we have these invisible handles. All right. And we also have invisible handles at the end of this first clip. Now, once we put it together. There you go. Now it's uh, um, next to each other. Now we can try to apply um, a transition. All right. So if we apply a transition here, let's say I have a default transition. So I'm going to do a shortcut here. Shift D. All right. So that it will apply the uh, transition automatically. But um, if you want to do it manually, you can just simply go to the effects control here. Look for um, video transitions. All right. And you can just simply drag and drop some transitions here in our uh, middle of our clip. All right. So now we have here the transition. So if we're going to play this. There you go. All right. Now the uh, this one. All right. As you notice, this second clip, the handles. All right. Of this second clip is located up until here. All right. That's why. All right. That's why this we can still starting to see. All right. Look at it. You you will start to see the river. All right. Because it's using the handles of this part. All right. Now on this part, there's the handles of this first clip. All right. The handles showing in this, uh, in this uh, second clip. All right. Now um, let's try to remove the uh, the uh, transition. All right. Let's try to remove the transition. And I will not leave any handles on the uh, end part of the first clip, and also in the first part of the second clip. All right. And we will see the uh, triangles next to the right corner of the of our footage. There's a triangle, meaning there's no handles anymore, or there's no uh, you know another footage or extended footage. 
All right, and also in this one, in this part, uh, there's a triangle on the uh, left corner of the footage, meaning there's no handles available. So if you will go ahead and try to snap this you know, in between, you will see those triangles forming, all right? The triangles forming in the middle, all right? Meaning there's no handles for both, all right? There's no handles for both the uh, second clip and uh, for the first clip. All right, now let's try to apply a transition. Let's see what's gonna happen. Let's apply the uh, transition. Now I try to hold down the shift and the D to apply our default transition and we got this error message. Insufficient media. This transition, this transition will contain repeated frames because there's no handles. That's why it's gonna repeat frames. Let's, re let's try to click okay on that, all right? And then let's try to play. As you can see, Adobe Premiere Pro tried to create all right, some repeated try to try to create some repeated frames just to compensate with that handles that are missing. All right, unlike before, if there's an available handles for both clips, uh, the uh, transition will gonna play back smoothly. All right, let's try to have a better understanding. Let's try to double click on this. Uh, let's try to click on this uh, transition and let's go to effects control. All right, I'm gonna try to show you here. All right, as you can see, all right, this one is our transition. All right, the, the reason why it's giving you these um, these icons is because there's no handles available. All right, and and the reason, as you can see, there's a triangle at the top. All right, as there's a triangle at the top, and there's a triangle on the left corner of the uh, second clip, and there's also a triangle on the uh, right clip uh, on the uh, on the right uh, corner of the uh, first clip. All right. Now let's try to um, delete this transition, all right? And then let's try to create some handles, all right? And let's delete this, all right? Now let's try to apply the transition by uh, hitting the shift and the letter D to apply our default transition. Now, as you can see, the uh, those symbol is gone now, all right? Those symbol is gone now. And you will see, and you, you will notice the triangle on the right corner all right, as you can see, is at the end of the clip. All right, it's not in the middle anymore because it's not the end of the clip, and uh, it's actually, uh, you know, it's actually uh, gonna play smoothly. All right, it's not gonna repeat any frames of these clips because there's an available handles for both clip. All right, so basically the handles. Uh, all right, so let's try to go to our transition. All right, so basically this is the handles, all right? And this is the handles of the second clip. This is the handles of the first clip, all right? So basically that's it. That's how you uh, keep in mind when you adding transition, make sure that there's an available handles uh, for both uh, clips that you want to add those uh, transition. It's important to remember. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.